because it was a Challenger, not a Charger. Man, they're passing me like crazy, like I'm standing still. I'm serious. Like I'm standing still. That was a Porsche 911 Turbo. I'm going 90. 90! That guy's not. These guys are going 100 plus. In a highway patrol zero tolerance zone. Actually, that sign just flipped to move over, slow down now. This is a zero percent tolerance zone. Man, them guys are going up there. I mean, geez, they're going 110. They are. Well, this is Las Vegas. This is Sloan. I guess this would be West Las Vegas or something. You can see the big city lights up there. Wish I had to cut that Porsche speed and pass me at like 125. But I mean, I'm going about a 95. And they're just leaving me in the dust. I don't know about that flow of traffic law in, Las or in Nevada. That's how it is in California. I don't think it's the same way here. I know we sure put some distance between the traffic behind us and the traffic. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, I don't know if I should do the video from here or if I should wait until I get closer. Once you go around this hill, it's basically going to be, well, look, Henderson goes all the way over there. Now you see that big light shooting up in the sky there? That's the Luxar. And I guess they can see that from space or something. I might just keep this rolling. Drive an exotic car from 199. Is this Porsche Man? No. It is. No. I don't know what it is. That could be him. It is. This is Porsche 911 Turbo guy. And no joke, he was going 125 earlier. The cop is getting back on the road. And this guy... He's just going to let everybody pass. Look at that Porsche. He doesn't want no part of him. Well, I mean, I don't either. <laughs> Go get him, buddy. In your Lincoln. wonder why he still got his lights on way up there. Well, that slowed us all down back to 70. For sure. Okay, I'm telling you, it's a ways away here. But you can still see town Ka. A $165 million production. Wow. Mandalay, New York, New York, New York, New York. Who'd he get? Oh, he got the charger. That guy just passed me too, man. <laughs> uh, the Porsche guy was smarter. He didn't get nailed. The um, Charger was behind the guy. Interesting. Wow. Bring NHL hockey to Vegas. Golden Nugget is a damn nice hotel. If you want a nice place to stay, there you go. If it's not during the... Sunday through Thursday here is very cheap. Sunday night through Thursday night. Friday night and Saturday night can get out of control. Had an extra gear left there after running across copper, man. That big light on the Luxar is something else. Wonder how much it costs to run that thing. Wonder how much it costs worth of electricity in this town. Rascal Flats, Blue Land Group, it's all here, man, I'm telling you. I'm going to go ahead and just run this thing. We're not really in Vegas. The South Point they just built in the last, uh oh, 
two, three years, I want to say. <laughs> this exit they just built in the last two, three years. And the next whole side. Yeah, even though I really wasn't out of line there, I hate being in the middle of a cop situation there. Jeez, just makes your heart flutter. This is a huge, huge resort. It's very nice. It's not on the Strip. Um, if you're coming to Vegas and you want a place away from town, away from the hustle and bustle, but you still want some bustle and hustle, ah, this is a nice place. Very, very nice. I think it's a four star, if I'm not mistaken. And they have a... I don't know what it's called. Coliseum or whatever? Mandalay, Caesar's Palace, and that place. That Porsche wants out there. So does this guy. I'm slightly subdued now after that, though. Okay. I think we're just going to play it right through town. And do it to it. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, cansoup.com, tinybeagles.com. Flamingo is 7, 95 is 14, so about 15 miles to downtown. We may as well just film it. Why not? And I don't know exactly how this is all going to... Seersucker. I am tired, and it's undue tiredness because of this stupid trip. If I didn't put this all together, you can, uh, wow, put a link somewhere. Who knows? Boop, boop, right here or at the end. I don't know. But I was recording from Silverton's also very nice for away from the strip type of thing and not downtown. Still got all the best of the gambling and all that. Nice resorts. But not overly packed. Jeez. Sitting here behind this idiot. Going 55. Get over it, dumbass. Yeah, I'm vocal. Little John! David Guetta. They have everybody here. Cake Boss. TLC's Cake Boss at the Venetian. Here we go, in order. I'll call some of them out. Fries, <laughs> electronic. No, seriously though. The Strip is right there. That is the Las Vegas Strip. It's not downtown Strip, but downtown is up a ways. But that's the, the main thing now, Delano. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Shelby American moved down here, Carol Shelby's place. This used to be, wow, retail now open. Wow. He basically opened a dealership here basically now. Did I say basically about 14 times? Yeah, it used to be down by the Las Vegas Motor Speedway.
Hackathon. Hustler, Larry Flint's Hustler Club. There's lots of titty bars in Vegas. And it's a lot different than the titty bar in your town. Okay, calling them out. Mandalay Bay. And it's all the way to here. That's the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. And it goes all the way back to that Mandalay Bay thing. I think it includes the Bilano Tower, but I am not sure. They could have sprouted that one up in the middle of it. Crazy Horse 3. See, advertising more titties. Four Seasons Hotel. Wow, the Four Seasons must be what Mandalay is, maybe? I don't know. That's a huge hotel, man. Yeah, Mandalay Bay Delano. They built that up in the last few years. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get over. I hate driving here at this time. People just all of a sudden whip out for no reason. Excalibur is the castle. Luxar is right there with the big light. The Jabberwocky is here. The Jabberwockies are here. There we go. Rio is the multicolored one. Monte Carlo is right there. New York, New York is right there. MGA, that MGM Grand across from it. And that strip goes right up there in between them. Girls' Night, Outback, Thunder Down Under. They got the men ones here too, buddy. Not that I'm going, I'm just saying. No, no billboard. Now, Orleans is down that way. If you want to get it, and in and out too. If you want to get a good hotel here, Orleans is a nice local type place. The Aria has a beautiful hotel inside. Uh, Padara. Cosmopolitan. Now that's mostly like um, apartment type things, I think. Trump Towers is over here on your left. Bellagio should be close to Caesars and Treasure Islands right in the whole thing. Many, many of them on the other side that we can't see at the strip splits. Planet Hollywood's right through there. Cirque du Soleil. There's Caesars right there. Yeah, Caesars and Bellagio. Bellagio did well by just building right next to Caesars. If I'm not mistaken, um, Steve Wynn owns that. Caesars is huge. It used to be the place to be. Rio. The Palms is over there. Maloof Brothers, I think. Caesars Palace is huge. Wyndham, Wyndham's there. Where is Trump Tower? It must be up here farther. Gun show. They have lots of gun shows here. The Mirage. Mirage is a nice place. Mirage Treasure Island. I believe that's in. That's a Trump Tower. Stratosphere is the Space Needle looking thing over there. The Wynn Encore. There's that new um, Ferris wheel thing. It's actually a little capsule you get in. Pretty cool. And more titty bars. I'm not trying to point them out. They're just there. What do you want me to do? Okay, now that stratosphere pretty much splits the strip from downtown. Circus Circus is over there. A bunch of others. Um, Harris, Riviera. More titty bars. Uh, convention center's right up here. 18 miles. Take exit 41A from Nevada 159 slash Charleston Boulevard East. But I'm not going anywhere, lady. What are you talking about? We want out of this. There's uh, Palace Station. Nice local place, but it's really close to a, a strip. <laughs> Speaking of strip, another gentleman's club. See, I'm not trying. It just, boom, it's there. Okay, I can't look around as much now. We got some stuff going down. Okay, that's a stratosphere. Another <laughs> TD bar. 
I'm serious. They're everywhere. There's another one up there. A little dark. There's another one right there. That's why it's traffic. Everybody's stopping. They see the titty bar, titty bar, titty bar, titty bar. My God, there's some traffic tonight. Carolyn Goodman. Oh. Mayor. She must be in the mob. Yeah, see cheetahs, little darlings, treasures little back there, crazy horses right down there. It's just all bam, 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 bam. Well, the whole town. Downtown, um, they have the Fremont Street experience where you actually walk underneath the canopy. And like I say, the stratosphere is the end of the strip here. In fact, if you walk the entire strip down to the stratosphere and back up to the like from New York, New York, or the Excalibur, or somewhere like that, you'll know you walk somewhere. Wreck? Must have been a wreck. There's two cops. Yeah, there's a tow truck. And there's a wreck. Three car, four car, five car. Okay, that should do it now. That's downtown. Nice big open spot between the two. I'm not gonna get to do the same kind of that's that, that's that type of thing. You got the plaza, you got the golden nugget, you got the uh, premium outlets are right here. You got everything down there. I can't even think of them all. I wish I could. I wish I could just stop and stay there. Now we're talking. Well, that is pretty much the Vegas Strip and the downtown. You turn there to go up over downtown. And once you pass this, there is more casinos, there is more gaming, all that kind of stuff down this way. But it's more smaller places and like for truckers, like truck stops. The California. Main Street Station. And the Fremont Street experience is pretty nice. I so badly want to go down there right now. Get online and look up a hotel. Wow, they have Capriotis or whatever there. was the main part of Vegas, as you can see, there's plenty more out here. It goes on and on and on. It surrounds it like crazy. Um, as far as neighborhoods and stuff, the neighborhood out here is not that good. It's all like love stores and like pretty chintzy places. Chintzy. Yeah what it is. Speedway Boulevard. So it's 10 miles or minutes. I don't know. Just to the NASCAR track. Maybe I should just leave it on. I think I will.
20 minutes. I don't know how long it takes to drive from one end to the other. Probably 25, 30 minutes from the look of it. You okay, breeder? Tinybeagles.com. That was my puppy. You doing okay? The good girl. She doesn't like traveling, but she does so good. Casablanca Resort, 75 miles. That's the state line. I think I can make it that far. I've stayed at that Lucky Club casino there. Yeah. It's a trucker casino. It's cheap. It's not that cheap. It's kind of expensive because it's for truckers. So there's plenty of Plenty of um, parking, and actually we took and walked into town from there. Took the bus halfway, took a cab back, too drunk to get home. <laughs> good times, good times. Okay. It must be, yeah, travel time, so it's a minute. Everything is the adult mega outlet and stuff out here, I'm telling you. Well. You okay, breeder? Very industrial. Whoa, and the lane in. Hey, what was that? My own car. Oh, that guy's throwing stuff at me. I don't like that. Pilot! Oh, that's the one I should have went to, man. It's got a pizza hut. I'm hungry. 229. Holy smokes, that's pretty cheap. I think I might see dollar something gas on the way up. No. It can't be that much cheaper up in Salt Lake. It could be. We'll see. Might see 205 and such. That'll be interesting. Okay, I'm easily interested, okay? Okay, well this was just a regular old drive-through, drive-by, drive-around Las Vegas. We didn't go through town, as you can obviously know, but we went straight through town. Wow, TJ Maxx Distribution Center, and it's huge, that's what she said. Dream racing. You can come here and drive a Lambo. God, that place is humongous. Actually, came out here and um, interviewed. Who was it? TJ Flores. There we go. He's way out in there. Very industrial area, like I say. 